Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we are blasting Wisconsin's Ossuary. Supreme Degradation on Ruptured Fetus Productions. Reissued by Maggot Stomp, but I think it sold out. They reissued both the demos. Both are equally disgustingly fucking heavy. And if you're a fan of fucking dirty, crushing death metal, then get into Ossuary's Supreme Degradation and let this thing rip you the fuck apart. This is so goddamn good. Definitely one of my favorite demos of the year. I'll go over this with you sickos soon, don't worry. But let me go over the little elephant in the room, kind of. Not really, but... This next review has nothing to do with the fact that Dylan from Head Split is involved, but this is a CD release, but it's also available on cassette, but the cassette is not ready yet. But Dylan was rad enough to send me a copy of this re record, and it's fucking so good that I don't give a fuck what format it's on. I borrowed a CD player, made it the fuck happen, and can't stop listening to this slab of fucking death grinding filth that is the new necro drunks record terminal perversion 15 tracks of utter disgusting death grind on head split records gory as fuck sleazier as fucking sleaze gets this is so good that I'm breaking my own rule and like I said it's not because it's Dylan it's not because it's the fucking necro drunks it's because Terminal Perversion happens to be one of my favorite releases of the year this is so fucking good it hits every single sweet spot I have for like gore infested death grinding madness this is so filthy sounding like charlie absolutely is a goddamn genius when it comes to production this sounds so fucking awesome digester 666 and crystal seth have never sounded fucking better and i fucking love it i want to take a septic shower myself but this is so goddamn good that I had to break my own rule. And first things again, this is Porta Potty approved. A very, very hard to get approval, but these two sickos managed to get it. This also features one of my favorite parodies in extreme music ever. A little joke at the expense of Black Witchery. But track 14 is the fecal upheaval of satanic might instead of Black Witchery's satanic... I meant upheaval of satanic might. I apologize, but this is 15 tracks of disgusting fucking death grind with a nice gory touch to it. Absolute, total, sleazy tunes and... Something about this grabbed my attention before I even heard a single riff. And that was the cover art. Now, Terminal Perversion alone is an amazing title. But look at this cover art. I kind of love the three-breasted woman. A nice little tip of the hat, hopefully, to a Total Recall. Or maybe the artist was just trying to be even more sleazier than making a nice toilet corpse with three boobs but this is so fucking disgusting and such a great great artistic representation of the music that exists on terminal perversion that i really felt the need to talk about the cover art and it's so fucking sick like the cover art all right the fourth full-length album from Portland, Oregon, Sultans of Sleaze, 
100% unfiltered and unsettling, death grinding defecation. I love Head Split's descriptions. Fuck yeah. Cover painting and logo by Scadvalord. Sorry if I mispronounced your name, brother. But you did an amazing, amazing fucking job. And Charlie, your production at Underworld Studios is just absolutely fucking sickening. But in a good way. But back to the cover art here. Like, this woman's about to, you know, have oral sex with this festering mass right here. And do not let this cover art deter you. Like, I know some of you out there have kids and stuff, and you don't want them stumbling upon this, and I understand that. I wouldn't want Cole stumbling across, you know, my Disgorge records, which happen to feature a dead baby on it. Like, that's gnarly shit. But I know for a fact that, sadly, that cover art deters a lot of people away from the Mexican Disgorge and their 1999 legit hyper grinding, bulldozing, just slab of awesome filth that is forensic reissued on Parasitic Records who fuck, I, I, I love that album to death. I don't even think about the cover art at all but don't get me wrong the cover art sums up exactly what forensic sounds like and i feel like the necro drunks nailed it with terminal perversions cover art as well but again do not let this deter you if it does you know to quote morbid angel extreme music for extreme people like not saying I'm extreme, but like, it's just music, and it's just art. So, it's just a form of expressionalism. Like, don't let it, you know, hurt, it's just, it's just a cartoon. It's not real life, it's not like this is a giant swastika or some bullshit. But, Terminal Perversion is 15 tracks of death grind at its filthiest i fucking love it starting with septic shower it's just absolutely humorous yet at the same time fucking some seriously awesome death grind like into eternal queef is such a sick fucking song like it's just bad ass death strike from septic hell that's another badass one that Peep Show Massacre, Ejaculating Maggots, Extreme Excretions, Freaky Fuck Fiesta, Impending Gynological Conquest, Radically Inseminated with Cogulated Cum, like, come on! Fun for the whole family with the Necro Drunks and Terminal Perversion, but really, Digester Rim Digester 666 is on raunchy rim shots upon barrels of raw sewage and excreting vocal excrementations. While Crystal Seth handles pornographic serades from septic hell and triple X regurgitations. I love a good death grind duo and Probably my favorite, besides Galvanizer, are Necro Drunks. They're split with fucking, um, what is it, Axe Splitter? I can't remember off the top of my head, but Axe Slaughter, my bad. Axe, Axe Slaughter and Cadaveric Incubator, that split is fucking sick. But I need to go over the new Axe Slaughter demo, because it's so fucking good, but... We're talking about the Necro Drunks and Terminal Perversion. If you're a fan of Filthy Death Grind, look no fucking further. This is so goddamn good. Like I said, I broke my own rule, but it's fucking worth it because Terminal Perversion 
by the Necro Drunks on Headsplit Records is filthy death grind, I feel like, at its finest at the moment. And like I said, Porta Potty approved, and yeah, if you're a fan of death grind, you cannot go wrong here. How sick is this fucking artwork as well? Like, it's absolutely amazing. Everything about this is sick. Like, I, can't, I really want to grab this on cassette just to add the extra sleaze when I have to give back the CD player. I probably should fix that thing somehow, but I spilled Dr. Pepper inside of it. It's kind of fried. I'm surprised the cassette deck works, but anyways, we're blasting Ossuary's Supreme Degregation. I apologize if I said that wrong, but I've been Sergeant Stutter all morning. I barely slept in the past like two days. I'm fucking exhausted right now. But this is available on Ruptured Fetus Productions and reissued via Maggot Stomp. A very fitting release for Maggot Stomp as this totally fits their MO. So, if you're a fan of Maggot Stomp Records, get into Supreme Degregation by Ossuary, because chances are you're going to fucking adore it. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Thanks again to Dylan and Aaron for making this video happen, and thank you sickos at home for watching. I've noticed that YouTube has been, like, unsubscribing me from like people's channels that I, I never unsubscribed from so if for some reason you're unsubscribed subscribe again like it's not like it really makes a difference but it'd be nice to get to 4k by summer that would be fucking dope need like 800 more people so spread the filth and get into the fucking necro drunks and their fourth full length record and definitely in my opinion their finest terminal fucking perversion so good on head split records like i was saying thanks for watching <laughs>